Welcome to another how-to video for social, where we look at critical skills needed for success in social studies. Today we'll be looking at detecting bias. What is bias? Bias is showing a preference for one side over another, rather than being neutral. Bias is used to influence people either negatively or positively towards an idea or event. Bias is based in the beliefs and values of the people involved, and therefore can be linked to their ideology. Bias can be found in a number of sources around you, including the media. And by detecting these biases, you'll be better prepared to analyze sources you see in the media and on your diploma. Bias can be presented in many ways. You can see bias through selection and omission, through placement, by headline, through choice of words, or by photos, captions, and camera angles. Bias through selection and omission is where, by choosing whether to cover a specific news item, a news source communicates what it believes should matter to the public. Within a story, details can be ignored and included to give readers or viewers a particular view about the events reported. Bias through placement is seen more in print and on news channels. Where a story is placed within a newspaper or program influences what a reader or viewer thinks about its importance. The first story in the news is assumed to be more important than the stories at the end of the news or at the back pages of the paper. Bias can be done by placing a story at the beginning or at the end depending on how an outlet decides its importance. Bias by headline is an interesting phenomenon that can be seen in print and occasionally in visual media. As the most read part of a newspaper and most caught part of a TV clip, headlines can express approval or criticism quite quickly. Bias through choice of words is also important. In many places in the world, one person's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Words have emotional connotations as well as literal meanings. By using emotionally charged words, writers can influence the feelings of an audience. And finally, bias by photo. Pictures can flatter people or make them look bad. The photo chosen can influence heavily the public's perception of a person or event. On television, the choice is even more important. Captions and narrations of a TV anchor or reporter are potential sources of bias. Remember your often presented sources during your exams and have to be aware of bias when answering questions. But how do we uncover bias? Ways to uncover bias. You can compare news reports from several sources to get a full story. You can compare news reports from various sources and judge for yourself the importance of a news item. Make sure to read the story completely to determine if the facts support an opinion suggested by the title. Consider the connotation of the words. Substitute words that are less value laden. Does the meaning of the story change? And the other thing you can do is think about the attitude conveyed by the image. Does it portray an unbiased viewpoint, or is it designed to make you think one way or the other? Once you've examined a source and understood any bias present, it will make other tasks easier. For more information or examples, visit your ADLC online content or consult your textbook.